Hi everybody, my name is Philippe. I'm a huge fan of Barbara Streisand and I'm making a series of 12 videos on Barbara Streisand's 12 most important albums, the ones that define her career, the ones that have marked her and the ones that have touched us in a very special way. And today I would like to speak about this gem, which is the soundtrack to the movie Funny Girl. As you all know, Barbara Streisand began her career in Funny Girl on Broadway, where she broke attendances and broke all types of records because she was, uh, you know, the phenomenon, the phenomenon that we know, but she was um, discovered at that time by many, many people. And so absolutely naturally in 1968, Barbara Streisand shot the movie version and it was directed by William Wyler. And uh, the reason why I speak about this album is because it is sometimes slightly overlooked because it's not a Barbara Streisand album per se. You have an opening and a finale, which is music, and you have a few duets, uh, especially with Omar Sharif. And then you have two or three songs that are sung not by Barbara Streisand. So she is the absolute star of the movie and she is the absolute star of this album. Uh, this uh, album begins with a beautiful overture where you hear excerpts of all the different songs and then right away she, Barbara Streisand sings I'm the Greatest Star which is um, a, a song where she explains that she is a huge star but that nobody knows it uh, and as she says she's a bagel on a plate of onion rolls and um, it is a beautiful song which has ups and downs and it has a comedic aspect and then very very sad and heart-wrenching and um, extremely strong and it really opens the story and the movie and the album in a certain way because you really realize that this person is full of talent but she is misunderstood or not understood at all. Uh, then there is a song, one of the songs, the first song where Barbara Streisand does not sing called If a Girl Isn't Pretty. Now it's sung by Kay Medford and uh, by uh, Mae Kestel, an amazing actress. Mae Kestel was in the original Broadway cast so she played alongside Barbara Streisand and Kay Medford plays Barbara Streisand's mother Fanny Bryce's mother, uh, Rose. So uh, it's funny because she has the same name as Mama Rose and Gypsy. These three, uh, three women are explaining to Barbara Streisand's mother that if a girl isn't pretty, she's finished. And, you know, they're saying that because they think Barbara Streisand's cute and she's got talent and everything, but, you know, she doesn't stand out. She's not a Miss America. And uh, Barbara Streisand uh, in, in, is in the film and she's getting dressed and all dressed up and everything. And she's oblivious to that because she doesn't hear it. So it's a great song and it's beautifully sung. Very, very Broadway-ish, if we can say, with these voices and the laughs. And it, it's a really, really great song. Uh, then The Roller Skate Rag, which is the first number in which Barbara Streisand appears. And it's, you know, this chorus of girls that dance to a roller skate, um, who dance on roller skates, and it's a rag. So it's, you know, ragtime 1920s, and they're all screaming and yelling and, um, and being very, you know, very funny. And of course, Barbara ruins the number because she says she can roller skate and she can't. And you do hear her in it because when they all give their names, she says her name, Fanny. And um, this number is it's just very cute to listen to, but it brings you to the solo number of Barbra Streisand, which is I'd rather be blue uh, than be happy all by myself. Um, or I, uh, I think the song is called I'd rather be blue thinking of you. And it's this is one of the songs that is not written by Julie Stein and by Bob Merrill, who wrote the entire score. And it's this is where Barbara Streisand magic appears. Now, she arrives on the stage all by herself. And, you know, they say, well, you know, let her sing. And 
and and you know she starts very very slowly you know i'd rather be blue and then she picks up and then what's incredible is that she also um because she's on roller skates roller skates in a, a fantastic way so she's really really good and this is what explains the character in the film and she's really absolutely brilliant and that song is absolutely fantastic and she's full of charm and full of wit and um, after that it's his love makes me beautiful which is the big big production number uh, this is when Barbara Streisand Fanny Bryce goes into the Ziegfeld Follies and this time they want her to sing a song that doesn't suit her at all uh, where she's a bride and she says that she is beautiful that she's sheer perfection that she is absolutely uh, you know irresistible and she says to um uh, florence zigfield i can't sing this so what she does in order to completely uh turn around the aspect of the song is she she picks up a pillow and puts it under her dress so she turns into a pregnant bride with a white gown and so of course she becomes a joke but it's not anybody going to make fun of her but they're laughing with her and it is one of the most beautiful production numbers in a Hollywood musical. When I was little, my dream was to live in on that set, you know, to have a bathtub with mirrors that turn around and um, that staircase with all the different brides, the spring bride and the summer bride. And then Barbara Streisand, who is absolutely hilarious and um, and who, who completely turns the song around. Nevertheless, the production and the music, the orchestra is on steroids. It just lifts and lifts and lifts with a choir and it is absolutely magnificent. And of course, Barbara Streisand gives it just that one little thing to not make it something pompous, but on just something funny and hilarious. Um, then uh, she sings People and what a version of People it is. And this is really one of the reasons why I picked up this album out of the 12 that I wanted to speak of because Barbara Streisand has sung people live every single live album that she's made even though there's very few she sings people and of course the beautiful Peter Matz version on the people album is magnificent but here there's something absolutely magical with the orchestra because this is a Hollywood movie, so it sounds like a Hollywood version of people. And you have the verse, which is never heard before. She never sings it unless she sings it here. And uh, when she came out of the booth where she was recording, she kept saying, it's okay, but it's not exactly what I want. And then they finally got it, the orchestra, to play it in a very, very Debussy way, but like I say sometimes, in a Streisand way. Um, then there's a duet with Omar Sharif, You Are Woman, I Am Man. It's a very funny song where they're uh, courting each other and Barbara Streisand is very shy and embarrassed and she's trying to act as if, you know, she knows the life. So, you know, when he asks her if she'd like a bit of pate, she says, oh, I, I drink it all day. And then she realizes that, you know, foie gras is actually, it's just chopped liver. So... It's very cute and she's mumbling because it's in her head the whole the whole scene she's not singing so you hear it on the album but it's just even when she mumbles she sounds amazing uh, then don't rain on my parade the most extraordinary version you will ever hear uh, I sound but this version is just incredible she screams and yells and and lives and and she and you can in the song, you can hear that she's running all around, you know, she's going all through New York to try and reach and join uh, the man that she loves with yellow roses. I hope you noticed the detail. Um, and it is just absolutely beautiful. It was, it was on the album Barbara Streisand's Greatest Hits. Um, it was one of her greatest hits and it was that version that was on the album and it's the also one of the first it's the first album I ever heard of Barbara Streisand and boy was that a shock uh, 
Then another duet, kind of duet, Sadie's Sadie. This is when she is getting married uh, to um, Nikki Arnstein. And so she's describing her married life uh, up until her pregnancy. And it's very beautiful and very cute. And there are also all the comedic aspect of Barbra Streisand. You can hear she's very firming and funny. And it's just absolutely great and very so again it's like a broadway and it's you know it's really musical um then there's the swan which is you know her take on swan lake so you recognize the music of swan lake and um it's her version so it's very comical because she's between the swan and the duck and uh, it's a very short short song but again the orchestra is whew, they did not uh cheap out on violins listen to me i mean they there's everything um, you need to hear in an orchestra. Um, and then Funny Girl, which is an actual song and many, many people don't know or forget because we think that the, the, the main song of the movie, um, uh, Funny Girl, is People. But there is a title song, Funny Girl, and what a gorgeous song it is. And what a sad, sad song because it's so ironic when she says funny but it ain't so funny to be a funny girl. And it is just beautiful. And then my man, um, in it is her interpretation is what she's living in the movie. So it's, she's leaving, she's uh, basically divorcing and it's her man, my man, I love him so. And this is, Another song that is not written by uh, uh, Julie Stein and Bob Merrill, but it is a French song. Cocorico, you know I'm French, so I'm so proud whenever Barbara Streisand does anything French. And uh, so uh, the song was uh, written in 1920 by uh, Jacques Charles and by uh, Ville Metz. But more importantly, the verse was written by Miss Tanguette, who is the Fanny Bryce of France. Um, uh, just to make it as short as possible, in, in France you have the Moulin Rouge, um, which was one theater, and Miss Tinguette was the queen of the Moulin Rouge, and she was the star. And you have the Folie Bergère, which is another theater, and the star there was Josephine Baker, who's an American woman, but she is the symbol of Paris. And uh, she's a, a monument in France and, and she's buried um, in, in, uh, in Paris among uh, the biggest figures and the most important people of France uh, because she uh, was an incredible person during the war and, um, and, and, and everyone in France thinks she's French. Now, the Folie Bergère is what inspired Florence Ziegfeld to create Ziegfeld Follies. He saw the Folie Bergère, and that's why he called his uh, Follies, his, you know, theater Ziegfeld Follies. And uh, in the Moulin Rouge, uh, Miss Tanguet wrote the verse to my man in French. So when you hear, it cost me a lot, but there's one thing that I've got, it's my man. She wrote it in her French um uh what we call guai which is a uh, slang you know she's because she was that kind of a that kind of a girl and so she is kind of a fanny bryce so it's so appropriate that this song uh be sung in the movie and of course uh, fanny bryce sang my man um so it was written in english the english words of course are written by uh, channing pollock in 1921 it is a French song. So it's the last song of the movie and I have to be quiet because I make these videos longer and longer. Um, then we just end with a finale, a very short finale. And it is just time for me to thank you all so much for your messages, for your kindness and for all your input. All the people who tell me we love Streisand and, you know, she did this and that and you're your sweetness, I am deeply touched. And um, 
I have 124 people who follow this channel. I cannot believe it. I know people have millions and 10 millions and whatever. I don't care. You're the 124 people that I love. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I think this is the 10th album. Uh, so, but I'm only doing 12. Uh, but uh, thank you so much. And I'll be back real soon.